Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Once Upon a Crescent. This is season seven with your host and storyteller, Mrs. Hashmi. This podcast show is especially about kids like you. My dear Muslim kid listeners, you are incredibly special to me because if you think about it, I am a part of your imagination. While I'm telling the story, you are imagining it. Now that's really special. Let's get started. Mm, where's that imagination button that I have to push to start this episode? Oh, there it is. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's story is called The Thunderstorm. Omari ran with the soccer ball, looking over his shoulders to see if his little brother Wakil was catching up to him. Wakil sped up and swiftly stuck his foot out to steal the soccer ball from Omari. Omari used his body to shield the ball from being taken away. Wakil, determined to win this one-on-one -on -one game of soccer, tried to run to the other side of Omari. I'm going to get the ball from you, Abung. Omari could sense his little brother's frustration. He took a glance at Wakil's face. He was so focused in this moment. Omari saw the little goalpost in his backyard and noted how far it was. He still decided to take a shot at it. Omari pulled back his leg and kicked the ball as hard as he could. Surprisingly, he didn't kick the ball at all. Wakil came up from behind him in a flash. Wakil sneakily kicked the ball between his brother's legs, successfully stealing the soccer ball. Omari stood there surprised. Wow, Wakil, you did it! He watched as his little brother pushed forward to the goalpost, scoring a goal all on his own. Mama came to the backyard with some baked chicken and noodles freshly prepared. Why don't we eat outside today? It feels nice out here, huh? We'll get ready for karate practice after lunch. Let's not be late today, she said, putting down the bowls of food on the patio table. Just as Mama got settled with the food, a loud rumbling grew in the sky. Mama and the boys looked at each other as they scanned the sky. The sky was changing colors. It was filled with large, dark gray clouds that swayed closer and closer together. The rumbling could be heard once again. Mama picked up the tray of food and announced, Boys, we're heading inside now. We'll eat indoors because it looks like it will rain soon. Come, boys, let's go inside. Amalia will wake up from her nap soon, too. It's better if we stay safe inside. I think there might be a thunderstorm in today's forecast. The boys stood frozen, amazed at how quickly the sky changed. The clouds moved closer together, covering the sunshine that was just beaming down on them a few minutes ago. Omari kicked the soccer ball to the side and ushered his brother towards the house. Let's go, Wakil. Mama is calling us. Wakil didn't hear. He stood there mesmerized. He watched as birds flocked away together as the squirrels scurried away from his backyard and as the temperature started to drop. He stood still, feeling the stillness in the air. He looked to the trees that gently swayed with the wind. Wakil jolted in fright at the sound of the rumbling sky. Abang, I'm coming! Don't leave me! Omari held the door open for his little brother. Mama went to go check on little Amalia, who had woken up because of all of the rumbling outdoors. 
a storm was definitely near. Appa entered the home looking worried. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, good. Alhamdulillah. The electricity is still on. Omari's dad commented, looking around as he entered the home. Appa, you're home early today. Omari exclaimed, hugging his dad. Yes, there's going to be a thunderstorm today. That means we can't go for karate practice today. We'll stay indoors today and wait for the storm to pass, inshallah. Omari's shoulders drooped. Oh no, no karate practice today? I want to be done with my white belt, Appa. What if the storm is done soon? Can we leave then? Omari's dad shook his head no. The storm won't be so quick. It will be for a few hours, until the evening time. Mama walked into the living room with Amalia in her arms. Her big sparkly eyes brightened as she spotted her appa. She squirmed out of Mama's arms to go to her dad. Appa, appa. Let's get all the flashlights and candles in one room, you know, just in case the power goes out. Appa told Mama. Mama nodded, knowing exactly where to go to find the necessary items to prepare for the storm. Omari and Wakil stared outside of the window. The clouds joined together, forming a darker gray layer in the sky. Omari and Wakil gasped. <gasps> They spotted a bright white jagged line racing across the sky, and that's when they heard the first. The boys shrieked and huddled together. Appa came rushing to them, moving them away from the window, reciting immediately. Subhanallah, yusabbihu ra'adu bihamdih, wal malaikatu min khifatih. Boys, let's sit together in the living room. I don't want you near the windows. Mama watched as all the kids and Appa got cozy on the couch. Oh, I know what we can do, she cheerfully said. Mama came back smiling with a large bin of Legos. She dumped the entire box on the living room floor. Okay, this is the only time I'll allow such a mountain-high pile of Legos to be spread out like this in the living room, okay? Only because we're going to be stuck indoors. The boys nodded excitedly as they sifted through the different pieces. Amalia dug her hands into the pile, happily scattering them everywhere. Dangachi, no, that's not how you play with Legos, Wakil shouted to his little sister. Just as he finished scolding Amalia, another jolting sound of thunder vibrated in the home. Amalia dropped her fistful of Legos and ran back to Appa, who automatically responded to the sound of thunder with, Subhanallah, yusabbihu ra'adu bihamdih, Appa scooped up Amalia, reciting a dua in response to the thunder. Omari had his hands covering his ears. Wakil inched closer to Mama, who was also reciting this dua that was unfamiliar to the kids. Mama recited to herself, hugging Wakil and Omari. She rubbed their backs in a comforting motion. Omari felt frightened. He wondered if he and his family were safe. Mama, why is the thunder so loud? It feels like the house is going to crack. Wakil whimpered at the sound of that. Mm, when will it be over, Appa? Wakil asked. Don't worry. Allah will keep us safe. The thunder and lightning are all signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can use this time to feel amazed at Allah. How amazing that Allah can change the weather so quickly. How amazing is it that Allah can give all the plants and animals a drink of water that they probably really needed. The sounds and sights you boys see are from Allah. This is a glory of Allah.
سبحان الذي يسبح الرعد بحمده والملائكة من خيفته. Omari and Wakil listened wide-eyed, holding on to Mama. Mama, what is glory? Mama smiled. Hmm, it means awesomeness. All amazingness and awe is for Allah. Wakil chuckled at the word Mama used. Awesomeness? <laughs> I like that word. Omari thought back to the way the lightning struck and how it raced across the sky in bright white flashes. The zigzag lightning did look pretty awesome. All awesomeness belongs to Allah, Omari announced excitedly. Omari sat back down next to Mama startled, listening to the heavy downpour of the rain. Appa joined the boys on the floor next to the pile of Legos. He started to put together a structure. Appa looked to his family and suggested, Let's do a Lego competition while we wait for the storm to pass. Let's see if we can build a model of our house from these Legos. Mama started to gather all the red and brown bricks. Wakil helped Mama while Omari examined Appa's build. Amalia was busy playing with the Lego figures. She picked out a little Lego boy figure and raised it up in the air and exclaimed, Baba, that's you. Baba, look at Baba. Omari laughed as he looked at the little Lego person who Amalia decided was him. Is that me, Tangachi? She nodded and exclaimed. Bubbling, bubbling. The sky rumbled quietly again, with the sound of rain getting louder. The lights flickered on and off, and then finally stayed on. The power stayed on throughout the rain and storm. During the thunderstorm, the family enjoyed their time indoors, playing Legos and talking about a lot. Each time the thunder struck, Appa and Mama recited the dua out loud for the boys to learn. Omari's family huddled in the living room, assembling Legos quietly and listening to the rain as the thunderstorm finally began to ease up. Jazakallah khairan for listening to today's story by Mrs. Hashmi. This story was sponsored by Sister Lauren for her kids, Omari, Wakil, and Amalia. I hope you enjoyed this story. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.